Seventy million dollars. Y'all won't even put a million dollars in one neighborhood. A million dollars in one neighborhood. Chicago is one of several major U.S. cities dealing with a surge of migrants. The city has spent more than $300 million to tend to more than 38,000 immigrants from health care to housing and education. The funds have moved fast and it's leading to frustration in the city's minority communities. Black Chicagoans say their neighborhoods are in decay and have been for decades with little help from the city. But they note money is flowing and flowing quickly for the migrant crisis. They point to what they see as a symbol of the government's indifference. The city closed Wadsworth Elementary more than a decade ago, a school that served a largely black neighborhood. Last year, Chicago reopened it to shelter hundreds of migrants, and the city did not seek community input. There's homelessness and houselessness that we're facing in those neighborhoods, violent crimes at a high rate, and money is being found for those that are just getting here. But what about those who have been living in underappreciated properties, undervalued living circumstances, neighborhoods that have been stripped of banks, stripped of grocery stores, stripped of um, quality education? And all of a sudden there is a group that is coming in and it's causing animosity between the citizens and the new generation of people that are coming in. Tensions boiled over at a city council meeting earlier this week after a proposal to spend 70 million more dollars on the migrant crisis. We need that money in my neighborhood. We need that on my block. That woman should not be at Cook County Jail because she's grieving over a random act of violence that caused her to lose her child in front of her face when the city of Chicago has millions upon millions upon millions of dollars to give to people who ain't paid a dime into the tax base. Y'all whittling us out and y'all doing it in such a gracious fashion. Y'all representing us as y'all do it. This what y'all doing. Community leader Richard Wallace says the wants of black Chicagoans are not taking away from the needs of others. When black people say we want parks, that doesn't mean that we don't want X for migrants. When black people say we want jobs, that does not mean that we're saying we don't want jobs for migrants. And so the, the, um, the conflating of the issues together, right, are, is part of the problem. The city has now begun to limit some accommodations for migrants, and that's caused backlash too. Last month, Chicago evicted migrants who overstayed a 60-day limit at shelters. Immigration rights groups condemned the move. The residents cited safety concerns, but some say the city was put in a difficult situation to begin with the thousands of migrants that are being shipped to Democratic-led cities with African-American mayors being piled on to underserved communities is unfair both to the communities but also unfair to the humanity that is forced into these neighborhoods, dropped off at police stations, dropped off in the middle of underserved neighborhoods.